lent his voice to this network, delivering the iconic tagline, this is CNN. CNN's Richard Roth has a look now at the incredible life of James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones was a physically imposing actor. I take it back. You're not in trouble. You're dead where you stand. <laughs> but it will be Jones's voice that audiences will long remember. Luke Skywalker learned that in the Star Wars series. No, I am your father. It became a big mystery. Who is that? Who is that inside the, in the mask? A different actor played Vader, but director George Lucas realized he needed a villain with a more sinister voice. Call me and say, you want to do a day's work? And I said, yeah. A day's work? Uh, two and a half hours, you know. That's all? All yeah. the Darth Vader language is in two and a half hours? Yeah. <laughs> a few thousand dollars. <laughs> I went home. A city destroyed. The key to Darth Vader is a narrow band of expression. No inflection. He's not human. Father and son. <laughs> Jones returned to the role of the Imperial villain throughout his career, even at age 91 in the Disney Plus series Obi-Wan Kenobi. You will suffer. In another memorable voice-only role, Jones said just three words. This is CNN. What happened was that um, uh, I did the Goodwill Games. They said, well, now can we do uh, a CNN logo? And I came back for a separate session. It was so short. I mean, it took five minutes, right? And I forgot it. What is unforgettable is that this powerful actor with the deep, authoritative voice had a speaking disability. Stuttering was so embarrassing and really painful. I went mute from the age of eight to 14. Jones said a great teacher in high school who loved poetry helped him. He discovered I wrote poetry, and he got me to read my poetry in front of the class. And, and when I did, I didn't stutter. As a teenager, Jones wanted to be a military officer. He eventually ended up in an American nuclear bomber in his first movie role. The instructions? Attack the Soviet Union in Dr. Strangelove. Bomb door circuits. Negative function. A long list of screen roles would follow, including Roots. I found you! Kunta Kente! The guests are waiting, Your Majesty. Let them wait! Coming to America, it'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters. Field of Dreams, The Hunt for Red October. Mother of God, we know he's escaped. Patriot Games, the sun will set on my time here. And The Lion King. The stage, though, was his first love. Jones won a Tony Award in 1969 for The Great White Hope. Your wish coming true, huh? Never this, never this, Jones. Nominated, too, for an Oscar in the movie version. Jones was part of an elite acting group. He won an Oscar, a Grammy, three Emmys, and three Tonys, including a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017. Had he done it all in life? I'm not sure if I want to do it all, because, uh, you know, I, I, uh, death is okay. It, it is something that happens to all of us. And that's kind of glorious, isn't it? You don't have to be for me. No superstar. I love you just the way you are. So let us make yours a happy home. Make yours a happy home. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Um, boy, James Earl. He passed away at 93, and, um, you know, it, it's amazing to me that a lot of people that have been paying tribute, and rightfully so, um, to me, one of the best performances that I've ever seen, <laughs> was James Earl Jones and Diane Carroll in Claudine. My favorite movie of all times. And um, because it was such a far stretch from what they either one of them had represented uh, prior to that movie. I mean, Diane Carroll, a welfare recipient, 
meeting Rupert, who was a garbage man. And they got together, and she had, what, maybe six kids or something like that. And it was a love story that was just beautiful. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, I believe, was introduced to us. And for those of y'all who don't know who Lawrence Hilton Jacobs is, he's the guy that plays the father um, on the Jacksons, American Dream. And um, who, uh, Boom Boom Washington in the Welcome Back. Uh, I think his, yeah, his first, one of his first movies was with James Earl Jones. And um, I just want to give my condolences to his family and I thank him for just inspiring me and making a, a difference in the way I saw the world with just that movie role. So I um I um you know just know that he will be missed that rumbling beautiful prestigious voice that we have grown so accustomed to hearing and loving and um it has been silenced. But he has left a lot of work for us to remember him by. So James Earl, rest in power, my brother. Rest in power. And for those of y'all who comment, let me know what your favorite James Earl Jones movie was. Um, I always tell a lot of people, I go through my email, and it, um, leave your comment. I don't really want nobody coming into my house and leaving real, real derogatory messages. So it take a minute for me to get to the messages, but I will respond. Trust you me, and I do respond every time. Um, and I take your comments very seriously because um, I appreciate the fact that you listen to my commentary. So let me know what your favorite James Earl m movie was. And if you saw Claudine. Because that movie changed my life. It really did. I know y'all might say, what? On such a simple level. Um, that's when I was introduced, honestly, to what welfare was. And the, the whole dynamics of it. Because my mother didn't, wasn't on welfare. And I didn't know what food stamps and welfare was. And so when I saw Claudine, it just opened up my eyes to a whole different way of life. Okay? So anytime I learn something and it impacts me and it affects me, I, I definitely put that um, in in terms of my growth that movie did a lot for me as a, as a young person so with that being said let me know what y'all think and what was y'all favorite favorite role uh, there's been several now I won't I'm just saying that's one of the, the best ones for me and of course Mufasa uh, he there was nothing like it and that, that voice to play Mufasa in The Lion King, the original Lion King, it, it just can't be duplicated. It couldn't have been written for a better person. It was so prestigious and so deliberate and transformational. And I appreciate it. Rest in power, Brother Jones. Rest in power, James Earl. And if y'all like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.